And in fact, this right here is not periodic, but we just want to consider that interval, okay? And then after all the work, in fact, in the end, I have a really nice summation question for you guys. So be sure you guys watch all the whole thing. And if you guys like this video, be sure to give me a like as well. Enough talking, let's get started. e to the x, thanks to Fourier, we know this is equal to a0 plus the sum as n goes from 1 to infinity. And I'll just put everything into one summation. So the first part is going to be a n times cosine of n x. And then the second part is we add b n times sine of n x, like this. And of course, from the previous video, I have already showed you guys how to get this, this, and that. So in this video, we'll just be using those formulas. Let's do the a0 first. Well, yes, we'll do three integrals in this video, actually. Anyway, this right here, the formula is 1 over 2 pi, and we go from negative pi to pi, and then the function is e to the x, dx right here. Well, let's do this in our head. When you integrate e to the x, it's still e to the x. Putting pi, subtract, putting negative pi, nothing can be simplified here, so it's just write this as e to the pi minus e to the negative pi all over that 2 pi, and we're done. Now, let's figure out a n. a n is equal to 1 over just pi, and we integrate this again from negative pi to pi, and look at the function, which is e to the x, and you see a n is paired in up with cosine and x. Right here, you multiply by cosine of an x as well. So this is how you can remember the formula. All right. In fact, I showed you guys how to integrate this already in one of my previous video, right? e to the ax times cosine of bx, that video. I will just be utilizing the formulas that we got from there, right? And I'll tell you guys the result right here. First of all, I will just keep the 1 over pi right here. And then when you integrate this, you will first get e to the, well, a right here is 1, and then b right here is n. And in fact, you will just get e to the x over, and you will get a squared plus b squared, okay, if you check out that video, but I will just write down, this is 1 plus n squared right here. Of course, this is not it. We have more. This is just the front, and then we have the cosine of n x. And you have another part times n times sine of n x, like this. So just check that out, okay? And of course, we will have to plug in numbers. And we do the pi first, and we do the negative pi. Let's see if there's anything that we can simplify first. Well, we are just going to plug in this into all the x, right? So let's see. 1 over pi and this, this right here. It's just a constant multiple, so I will just write it all the way in the front. So we have pi times 1 plus n squared, and we have the 1 on the top like this. And perhaps I will just put the e to the x inside, so just focus on this part pretty much. Okay? Now, put the pi in here, we get e to the pi. That's okay. And then if you put pi right here, well, n goes from positive 1 to infinity, it's just whole numbers, and cosine of 1 pi is negative 1, cosine of 2 pi is 1, cosine of 3 pi is negative 1, and so on. In fact, cosine of n pi is negative 1 to the first power, it's negative 1 to the nth power. So, this part you end up with negative 1 to the nth power, okay? When you're putting pi right here, well, sine of n pi, it's just going to be 0 times n. It's still going to be 0, so that's done. That's done. And then you are going to subtract, of course. This is the first part when you're putting pi. And now we'll, we'll be putting down the negative pi. So we have e to the negative pi. And then when you put negative pi right here, cosine of negative n pi is also the same as negative 1 to the first, negative 1 to the nth power. Yeah, negative 1 to the nth power. Put this right here, you always get zero, so we're done. So this right here is it. And perhaps I'll put this on the top later, but this right here is a n. Right? That's kind of cool. So yeah. <laughs> now let's work out b n here. b n, the formula is very similar. You go ahead and do 1 over pi, and you integrate from negative pi to pi. And the function is e to the x, so you just put that down. And 
bn is with sine x, sine n x. So you just put on sine of n x here as well in the integral. Go ahead, integrate it. Watch my video if you would like. Or well, just try it. You can do integration by parts. We'll use complex numbers to help you out. But I will tell you guys the answer here. Here we get 1 over pi days. And you get e to the x over 1 plus n squared. And inside here, you end up with sine of nx, and then you minus n times cosine of nx, like this. And you go from negative pi to pi. So go ahead and plug in, plug in. But once again, I will just put down 1 over pi times 1 plus n squared all the way in the front first. And I will be pairing up the e to the x with this part because they have the x. Put pi here, we first get e to the pi, and then we put pi here. Well, sine of n pi is just zero, so that's gone. Put pi here, this is going to give us negative 1 to the nth power. So we have this, though, don't forget. Minus, by the way, this is e to the pi times, so it's, so it should put on parentheses. We have minus n, and this right here gives us negative 1 to the nth power when you put the pi right here. So this is the first part. And now we're putting negative pi into all the x, so we subtract e to the negative pi, parentheses ready, and then put the negative pi here, you get 0. Put the negative pi here, well, you have negative n. This right here once again gives you negative 1 to the nth power. So that's pretty much it, okay? So it's just like that. That's kind of cool. Now I just have to put all this into the formula. That's all. So let's see. This right here is equal to, well, a0 is just all that. So let's write that down, which is e to the pi minus e to the negative pi all over 2 pi. And the next, we have the summation. So we are going to add the sum as n goes from 1 to infinity. And here we have a n. Well, a n is right here, and perhaps let's factor things out as much as possible. Notice that we do have the negative 1 to the nth power in common. So I can put this in the front and we can factor it out. So I will do that. Negative 1 to the nth power, and then we have this minus that, right? So we will have e to the pi minus e to the negative pi all over this times that. So it's just pi times 1 plus n square, and that's it. And then we have the cosine nx here. Next, we have to add, and this and that, they are in the same summation, okay? Well, right here, perhaps we can factor out this. Huh, so we'll do that. So we will just write negative n times negative 1 to the nth power, and the leftovers will be this minus that. So I will put the parentheses, and then we'll have e to the pi minus e to the negative pi all over that for the denominator, which is pi times 1 plus n squared, like this. And this is with sine of an x. Okay, so that's pretty much what we have now. Cool. So yeah, that's it. And don't forget that little parentheses, of course. This right here is the Fourier series for e to the x on the interval negative pi to pi. Now, first question, I know you guys are going to ask me. Does this converge at the endpoints? Namely, can I just plug in pi into all the x right here and make sense of it? Can I plug in negative pi into all the x right here and make sense of it? Well, I will leave that to you. Because <laughs> I just want to show you guys a really cool series right here. In fact, no, okay, it does not converge at the endpoints, but you are going to do that on your own later. Well, yeah. However, I do know when x is 0, this right here will converge because that's, you know, instead of the interval of convergence, so it for sure will work. So what I will do is e to the x is equal to this, and I will just go ahead and plug in x equals 0. So I will just say let x equals 0. This right here converges for sure because this right here, once again, is on the interval, negative pi to pi, okay? Zero, of course, will work. So now, when x is zero, on the left-hand side, we just get e to the zero. I know that's equal to one, okay? 
So let's see, I will plug in 0 into all the x right here. Let's see what we have here. This is just still e to the pi minus e to the negative pi over 2 pi. And then we add the sum as n goes from 1 to infinity. Now check this out. When you put 0 into here for the x, cosine of n times 0, which is cosine 0, which is always going to be 1. So you just get this part right here, so we can write that down. Well, if you put 0 into here, sine of n times 0 is just sine of 0, which is just going to be 0. Everybody is gone. So you don't have that. So you just have this. Cool, huh? And now, if you look at this series, this has the end, this has the end, so you can have to, you have to keep this inside. We all know the, in, the, the series as n goes from 1 to infinity of 1 over n squared is pi squared over 6. Ah, here we have the 1 plus n squared in the denominator. Unfortunately, we'll end up with the alternating version of it, but you know, it's still cool, really cool. Anyway, let's do the work. So this right here is of course 1, and this is equal to e to the pi minus e to the negative pi over 2 pi. And to clean things up a little bit, I will factor this and that out, right? So it becomes e to the pi minus e to the negative pi over this pi. And then, of course, you have the sum as n goes from 1 to infinity. And here you have negative 1 to the nth power over 1 plus n square. And to isolate this, we just have to do some algebra. Notice this and that, they have this factor. So I will just divide everybody by this guy. So on the left-hand side, I will first have 1 over e to the pi minus e to the negative pi. And I will also like to move this to the other side, but I divide this out already. So we just have minus 1 over 2 pi after you move this to the other side, right? And this right here, we'll just have equal, and we have a 1 on the top now over pi. And we have this, the sum as n goes from 1 to infinity of negative 1 to the nth power all over 1 plus n squared. Well, to get this by itself, of course, we just need to multiply everybody by pi. So, ladies and gentlemen, the sum as n goes from 1 to infinity. I know this is the alternative version. You have the negative 1 to the nth power over 1 plus n squared. But I think this is still really cool. And maybe you guys can use this result to show me how to get the sum as n goes from 1 to infinity of 1 over 1 plus n squared. But, you know, I'll leave that to you. Anyway, this is equal to after you multiply everybody by pi. Here you have the pi on the top over e to the pi minus e to the negative pi. And then when you multiply this by pi, the pi's will cancel, so you just have minus 1 over 2. I think this right here is really, 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 really cool. Why? You have 1 and 2, then pi and e. You have the minus, you have the fractions. What else would you like? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, hopefully you guys all like this video and leave a comment down below if you have any questions and be sure to subscribe if you guys haven't already and also give me a like. Yeah. Anyway, see you guys next time. As always, that's it.